Take a look at what's going on. We've got the big weather story for today. We will start with the Almanac page. The overnight low this morning was 41. That's going to seem like a dream compared to where we're going in some spots later during the overnight hours. Our daytime high only 57. Normally we'd be at 73 degrees. We're going to be cold, but not near records. The record on this date was 28. So we're not talking about temperatures in the 20s, but we are going into the 30s. Look how beautiful the Orlando Health Camera is right now. Still 55 degrees with wind from the north at 8. Daytona Beach, beautiful sun setting up. Oh, someone's riding the ride. Unbelievable. Someone ride that thing. Isn't that nutty? Okay. Or Michigan or somewhere. Yeah, they're from, they're from the Arctic North. 54 degrees right now in Daytona Beach. Temperature reading in Palm Coast, you're down to 54. Titusville, 52. Melbourne, 54. So along the coast, not too shabby yet. Ocala, 56. 55, Sanford, Kissimmee, and Orlando both holding in at 55. Okay, wind speed and direction right now coming from the north at 8 miles per hour. So colder air just keeps funneling right on in here into central Florida. That's what we have to deal with tonight. We have... No real cloud cover, so nothing to track on radar, really, except for the cold. So who has to worry tonight? Well, we took the crayon and blew it in all the areas. It's everyone. Marion County, Sumter County, Lake County, Orange, Osceola, Seminole, and Interior Volusia, Interior Flagler, but not Brevard. If you're anywhere right on the immediate coast, you probably won't end up with frost. You can't. Temperatures are going to be in the 40s, except for on the immediate coast. But across the interior, we're going to get really cold. Winds are going to calm. The frost advisory is in effect from about 3 in the morning until about 8 a.m. After we get past 8 a.m., the sunshine tomorrow will warm us up with the quickness and we'll get a wind shift during the day tomorrow. Tonight, though, clouds have been blown away, so that frost advisory is up. All of the orange you're seeing here I keep coming back to because I just love it. From Jacksonville to Orlando, Tampa to Miami, dry air aloft today did a number on the cloud cover. Finally, those are persistent low clouds and they hung in there a very long time. Watch tomorrow. Cloud cover begins to appear off the coast and watch it kind of shift this way. That's an indicator of the wind shift. Winds will be coming from a more southeasterly direction late tomorrow. That'll push our daytime high close to 70 before all is said and done. No real rain chance tomorrow, but by Thursday we'll be dodging a few little pockets of rain. And then on Friday, the next system approaches. Lows tonight. 32 Ocala, 34 the Villages, 35 in Leesburg, 37 in Sanford. And the official overnight low tonight in Orlando should be 38. Frost advisory is up. Here's tomorrow. Your forecast brought to you by Napleton Chrysler Jeep Dodge. Going to get a lot of sunshine tomorrow, so we do warm up. A high of 69. Here's the week ahead. We go to about 68 or 69 tomorrow. The overnight low is 51, so no more advisories after tonight. Thursday's high 73. Then 75 on Friday with a really good chance of rain will be a little cooler and calmer for the weekend.